with the borax, you can definitely see a huge difference. For me, borax doesn't make sense. To say I'm a little nervous is an understatement because, I mean, this could basically ruin the board. There are lots of videos on YouTube talking about using borax to make your laser engravings darker. In this video, I do an experiment to see if it works for me, talk to you about the results, and explain why I'm not going to use borax with my engravings. And later, I'm going to see if I can shove this 12 by 17 inch cutting board into my tiny little 3018 and see if I can laser engrave it. Okay, we're going to do a bit of an experiment here. If you make a solution of borax powder, which I like to keep in these nondescript bags, and some water, you can make a solution that you then put onto your wood. When you laser engrave it, it makes the engraving black and not just sort of an off brown. So I want to test this because I've got some scraps left over here of maple and poplar that I alternated and glued up and we already burned the other side as it was. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up some borax solution here. I'm going to paint this on. We're going to let it dry and then I'm going to do two experiments at the same time. The first is I'm going to use borax on the whole thing to see if it, it's uh, how it affects the wood. The second, I'm going to put a layer of masking tape over half of it to see if that'll prevent some of the edges from getting burned because they don't have air assist. So we're just going to do a bunch of experiments all in one go here. So let me mix up. All right. I don't know if this is, a, I don't know if the solution's enough in this case, but we're going to just go ahead and paint it on here. We've got our solution painted on there. We have let this dry and looking at it, there does not appear to be maybe a little bit of color difference here on the edge. Doesn't look like it's discolored it too much because that's another concern I have. I want to see if the borax will discolor the actual wood. Because if I'm using this on a bigger piece, it's really going to stand out if part of it is discolored versus just the burn area. Good enough. Just a test. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Just a test. All right, all done. Let's take this out. Well, I definitely, the borax definitely made it a lot darker. Wow. That is definitely darker. A lot more soot too. Let's review. So that is the one I did first. No tape, no borax, just the laser as is. And that's what it looks like. With the borax you can definitely see a huge difference. That is, I mean, it's black basically. Now, a lot of soot on that. There's a lot of soot down here, but let's see if the tape made any difference whatsoever. Yeah, sadly, the soot just smears everywhere. That is a downside to the borax. It just makes way more soot. Did not engrave as deeply on the areas with the tape, but it's so much cleaner and darker. That is... Wow, I mean, that's kind of night and day. Let me give this a, let me just give this a really light sand really quick. See if we can clean it up a little bit and what difference that makes. So after a quick sand, this is the original. And that is the one we just did. You can see the sanding because of the tape, it didn't engrave as deeply. So it did take it off. And it looks like maybe I should have run the laser a little bit slower just to get a little bit of a deeper engrave on this one. Is it looks like sanding it down took a little bit of the darkness with it. So it makes me wonder if it's just soot that makes it look dark initially and then clean it up and it sort of takes the darkness away. But it's still definitely a little darker in the deeper areas. Something I'm going to have to experiment with. So I think I'm going to try this again. I think I'm going to do an experiment running this maybe a little slower and see how it affects it. Get another piece of wood and overall definitely has it. It definitely has an effect. Just don't know if it's worth the effort. Okay, so I ran another test on this piece of maple I had, and on the right, I did 1,900, 800 millimeters a minute, and you can see that this soot just smears everywhere. This was with the borax, no tape. This side, I used the tape, and what I did is I wiped it down with some water before I pulled the tape off, and actually got rid of most of the soot. So, now that I have sort of dialed this in a little bit, and I'm fairly happy with it. What I'm going to do is I am going to engrave the cutting board I made in my cutting board video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm going to engrave on the back here. 
going to start on the back because if it goes terribly, then it'll always be bottom side down. Nobody will ever see it. That is the cutting board I made in the big box store lumber cutting board video. And I'm about to try and laser design into the back of it. To say I'm a little nervous is an understatement because, I mean, this could basically ruin the board. But there's only one way to learn. And we're about to see if this cheapo $100 CNC from Amazon can laser engrave this big old cutting board I've jammed up in here. So what I have done is under the blue tape, I put the borax solution on it, let it dry, and then I've put the tape over the borax solution. I have measured it up. I've got this squared up. It's actually so big, I had to take my spoil board off. So I've taken the spoil board off. So this thing can sit down low enough that I can actually focus the laser, which is what I'm going to do now because I almost forgot. That would have been terrible. So let's get this focused down. Just wanted to touch. There we go. All right. It's focused. It's homed. There's only one thing left to do. That is fire up the fan, close this up, and turn on. Okay, that's like three things, but you get the idea. Here goes nothing. I mean, so far it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. Well, it looks like the tape peeled up a little bit. Put it over on the workbench and see how this goes. Let's get the tape peeled off. Actually, whoa, hold up. Getting ahead of myself. Let me wipe this down. That's the whole point. On the bright side, got a nice deep engrave on it. I got to resand this anyway. So if, as long as I go really light, it's just a, I just need to do a 220. I need to pop the grain and do a 220 on the back because I resanded this so that I could get the tape to stick. I think the the tape seems to help, but now that I'm thinking about it, since I need to resand this anyway, I'm not sure it was worth the time and effort to put the tape on because now I'm just wasting time peeling up tape that's not really doing any good because the soot is now just smearing everywhere. Let me just give it a little bit of a wipe here. <laughs> All right, a little bit of a closer view here. Results, um, not bad. And putting the uh, painting the borax solution on here, you can definitely see the color change in the wood. So I don't know if it's necessarily worth it because again, it's just it's going to come out over time, and it's going to be as it's only going to be as dark as the wood was burned. So I'm going to hit it with 120, see if that cleans it up. Then I'll pop the grain, do 220. In the end, I was able to accomplish what I wanted to with my laser, which was engraving my cutting board. And I think it turned out pretty well. I, if I were to do this again, I would not use the borax. This is a little light. I feel like the borax, all it does is makes a bunch of soot and then it just wipes away and you're left with not as nice of an engraving as if you hadn't used the borax and it doesn't look any better. Maybe I did something wrong and obviously I don't have a huge sample size because I only did this two or three times, but the few times I did it, it really didn't work well for me. So going forward, I'm not going to use borax, at least not on cutting boards. For me, borax doesn't make sense because I'm trying to engrave cutting boards with it. And there are two things that make that a problem. One, you don't clear coat a cutting board with a permanent finish. You use something like mineral oil or beeswax and mineral oil combined. And that wears off over time because it is food safe. If I were to put a clear coat finish on this, over time it would crack and also it may not be food safe. So we're not going to do that. The other reason is I didn't think about this when I was testing it. Luckily, I did it on the backside first is you're introducing a chemical into a food preparation surface. Probably not the smartest idea. Now, I'm not a chemist, but my partner is and I talked to her and she said, that's a bad idea. So I'm going to listen to what she says. That's why for me, I'm not going to use borax, at least not on cutting boards. Now, if I were to do something decorative, I'd probably use it. My advice to you, if you want to use the borax, be careful with it. It will smudge easily and be sure you seal it as soon as it's done. Hey, if you've been enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Thank you. Also, if you have experience with borax and laser engraving and have any tips on how to seal it in or what your preferred method is, do me a favor and let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear. Or if you just have a cool thing you're doing with a laser engraver, let me know that too. So I think for now that brings the saga of the cheapest CNC on Amazon to a close. I have covered unboxing it, building it, testing it on the CNC, testing it on the laser side, and it's been a lot of fun. Now, if I think of anything cool to do within the future, I'll be sure to make a video about it and share with you. But for now, I think that's going to be the end. So if you haven't seen the CNC videos, I'll link them. 
here. You can go watch those. And if you haven't seen the cutting board video where I made the cutting board that I engraved in this video, you can check it out up there. Thanks for watching.